I'm Dan Langan and I can make anything out of cake. Every week, Food Network challenges me to a brand new cake baking challenge. They're not touching the cake. <laughs> this is Dan Can Bake It. I'm here with a brand new box from Food Network that contains a clue as to this week's challenge. I wonder what is inside. Let's see. School supplies. A little clipboard here, this is fun. And a little eraser, some colored pencils, and crayons. Let's see. Make a kid's birthday cake with a trick up its sleeve. These crayons actually make me think of these paintings. People line up the crayons on the top of like a board. And I think if you just heat the crayons up with like a hairdryer or a heat gun, it makes this really cool kind of like ombre rainbow effect. And maybe I can find something that's colorful and edible and melts like a crayon. What I'm gonna do is create this really tall square cake. Got a rainbow layer, so it'll be the perfect canvas for some edible crayons that I'll attach to the top of my cake heat them up, hopefully all that edible crown melts down the side of the cake. It makes this really cool ombre rainbow effect. So candy melts and cocoa butter, I think are the secret sauce to making these edible crowns that will actually melt when I add some heat to them. I'm just going to use bubble tea straws to mold these crayons. So I have some sugar here and I just push the straws into the sugar. That's gonna be like a little stopper so that when I pour this cocoa butter and chocolate mixture into the straws, it doesn't run out the other end. What I realized was that if I thin down those candy melts with a little bit of cocoa butter, and it's solid at room temperature, but then when it gets hot, it's practically liquid. It melts into like cocoa butter oil. So I have a few of these right here that I've already set up. To get them out of the straw, all I do is take a wooden dowel. I'll do this flat because if I push it out of the straw and they fall, uh, they'll probably crack because this stuff is really fragile. This is one of those things where if you need 50 of them, you make like 75 because you assume that some of them are going to break. And then what I found works really well is just using a pencil sharpener, really gently sharpening them just a little bit. And it's sharp just like a real crayon. I got my white cake here, the perfect canvas for all of my rainbow crayons. So what I'm gonna do here is kind of lay these out just to get a good idea for myself of how I wanna put them on the cake. So to attach these crayons, I'm gonna use some white candy melts and they harden right away. So just a little bit is really all it takes. And my only goal here is to try and make sure that the top of the crayons line up with the top of the cake. That was it, the last one. Even though it's not melted yet, I really like the whole rainbow effect. It looks really awesome. So my cake's been in the blast freezer for about five minutes. Andre's got it right here. Thank you, sir. I'm gonna give this whole melting thing a go. Turn my torch on, aim towards the bottom of these crayons and see if I can get them to melt. Except they're not touching the cake. <laughs> I wanna make sure my crayons melt down the side of my cake. So I just have a towel here that I just kind of shimmy under the cake board to give the whole thing a tilt. Let's try this again. Kind of like a lowish flame. And then I wanna see if I can get this melting, dripping down the side of the cake. That looks so cool. Let me see if I can just turn this whole thing just like this. Is it running on the other side? It's my right hand culinary man, Richmond. Kind of figuring it out as I go along. Keep that free spray right there, just in case. Every way you turn it, you get a different look. You know what, you could not tell me that these do not look like real crayons. If I was a kid and I had got this cake, I would have just like freaked out. I actually think this is the world's first melted crown cake. Most people usually just rip some type of like food color down. So I think this might be a first in the history of the entire world. My challenge was to create an epic kid's birthday cake with a trick up its sleeve. And this is what I came up with. All right, so it's time for the big reveal. I got this awesome melting crown action going. And now I wanna cut this thing open so I can see this beautiful rainbow layer on the inside. That's some serious rainbow action right there. Not only do I have this amazing rainbow drip on the outside, but then I have this gorgeous rainbow layer on the inside. This has to be the most vibrant, colorful cake I have ever created. So awesome. What if I just picked up the entire slice and just bit it? Is that too barbaric? Let's go right here. Some seriously delicious rainbow cake. Guys, I'm pretty sure this right here is the world's very first melted crown cake. Subscribe if you wanna see more of these cake challenges.